Hello and welcome to My Seeker Math Tutor. For this video, we want to work on finding the area of a sector of a circle. So the idea behind that is here we have a circle, and if I mark out a certain angle, I have just a portion of the circle, that's what we call its sector. I'm curious, well, what is the area of that sector? Now there's a really neat formula that you can use that relates the radius and the angle to the area of that portion. It looks something like this. It says that the area equals one half multiplied by the radius squared multiplied by the angle as long as that angle is written in radians. So it's a really neat and handy formula that you can quickly figure out the area of something like that. We'll do a couple of examples so you can see how this formula works, um, but also see how even if you don't have uh, exactly the radius and the angle, sometimes you can still find it if you have just enough information. So the first one we're going to do is this circle right here. It has a radius of 10 and it's marking out an angle of 3 pi over 4. So we're really curious about the area of just this region up here. So we're going to borrow our formula. Area equals 1 half times the radius squared times the angle and start dropping in our information. So for this one, our radius is going to be 10. That gets squared. And our angle is already in radians. So we'll go ahead and just leave it as 3 pi divided by 4. And now we work to simplify this. Let's see what we get. So 10 squared is 100, that'll be divided by 2, and we still have our 3 pi divided by 4. Uh, so now we're reducing this. 4 goes into 100, 25 times, um, let's see, nothing else can really cancel. So 25 times 3 is 75 pi, all divided by 2. So that is the area. Now be careful when you're doing problems like this. Uh, sometimes people see this and they almost automatically think they still have an angle. I think because there's a pi in it, um, this really is an area, it's just written in terms of pi. If you want a decimal, you can go ahead and punch this in a calculator and then get the decimal equivalent uh, for that area. All right, let's do one more example and see how this one turns out. So for this one, I have a circle, has a radius of 4, but I don't really know what the angle is on the inside. What I do know is it has this little arc out here and the arc is three pi. So immediately if I try and jump into that formula, I'm missing some information. I'm missing this fact that, you know, I don't have that little angle. That's okay because the uh, interior angle, this arc and the radius are uh, related with another formula. Arc length equals radius times theta. So we can use this to get our foot in the door and actually figure out what this angle is and then jump into our area formula. All right, so let's give this a try. So my arc length is three pi. My radius is four, but what I don't know is my angle. No problem. Divide both sides by four. That'll give us our angle. And now we can move forward with this uh, and actually figure out the area. So area equals one half radius squared times angle, where my radius is still the four, so four squared. But now I know my angle, it's three pi over four. And now we work to simplify this. So four squared is 16, that'll be divided by two. Three pi divided by four. Now let's go ahead and cancel out some extra terms in here. Let's see, four goes into 16 four times. Then two goes into four twice. And so it looks like the only thing we have left is just the two times the three or six pi. So again, that represents the area of this portion of the circle right up there. Not too bad. So if you haven't already done so, maybe start memorizing that formula. It is kind of handy when making those connections. And of course, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.